it's sitting one in, in a tree around 100 meters from me. I am sorry, but uh, I have changed the plans. I told you I'm going to do some macro photography in this video, but I had to do something different. And the reason why is I have been up uh, a mountain hill here, scouting for cuckoos a couple of days now, and uh, looking for patterns where they like to, to land, and uh, yeah, it's so like some favorite perches. And I got a mail from Chagopan uh, today where I got the, the V6 hide and I have missed my tear blind a lot because of the size, uh, especially when I'm traveling a little bit further distances and the, the tear blind is, is really ill. <laughs> It's, it's not good to carry because it's it's like a lumpy and and really hard to take on uh, long trips. So the good thing with this V6 hide is it's a lot smaller, so it's easy to carry on top of my back hair, so you can see. And uh, I have the I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I have the tear underneath, uh, so I get everything I need just packed on my bag. And that makes it so much easier when I'm hiking up the steep hills. So yeah, let's go up and find some cuckoos. There's a lot of pipettes around this area here. And I'm guessing that's the why the cuckoo love this place so much. They love to lay their eggs in the nest of the pipette. So, therefore there is much, much uh, activity around this area here. I cannot hear the cuckoos right now, but uh, as I have seen earlier, uh, they start to cuckoo a little bit later in the evening. So I still have some time to get in the right position in the area where I seen they have used a couple of stones. So I'm going to place a tent around there. Can you hear that? There it is. Whew. How awesome is this? Perfect. Whew. It's not too far from here. And it did land on a stone there. I I've seen it land there before, so I'm going to place my tent near there. But not now, I wouldn't need to wait until it's like gone and then. Listen, isn't this an awesome sound? The cuckoo. 
Okay, it flew away now, so I need to be quick, go up there and put my blind up, and I will see you up there. Now I'm inside the blind, pointing at a, a stone where I saw it sat on just uh, uh, 10 minutes ago. So hopefully we'll come back and I will get some picture of it. So I just uh, need to wait and have patience once again and enjoy this perfect view on top of the mountain. Sending one in, in a tree around 100 meters from me. And the pipit sitting above it. They don't like the cuckoo. <sighs> but I can't blame them. So awesome. So, this is a really good area for the cuckoos. So it should be possibility to get some pictures, but it's, I tell you, it's not easy. It's not a, a easy bird to photograph. Really shy, so you need a camouflage. And uh, yeah, really unpredicted bird. I just moved. And this time I'm a little bit closer, so I'm changing to the D4S. And also the light is getting a little bit, a little bit darker, so. Just like that. Let's see if we can film one.
crazy. First one landed, and then the second chased it away. Oh, that was really, really nice. I got one picture though, one picture. It's late and it's getting dark now, so yeah, I need to pack and go. I have a around roughly half an hour to go uh, down there before it's getting dark now, so yeah, need to be quick. So it was a really great, great evening uh, photographing the cuckoo. I didn't get too much images, but ah, that doesn't matter as long as I got the picture. So, so nice. I hope you enjoyed this as well. And next time, I promise you, there will be macro photography. And until next time, yeah, I will see you. Bye.